Greetings participants. Welcome back to the Game Dev Arena. We have another default tutorial here. We're going to be creating a button GUI and with that it's going to have a scene transition with pressing the button GUI. So you're going to see our final result here first. So you can see the little button in the middle there. Press it. Gets to our scene. Um, nothing crazy about the scene. Just a little label in there showing it. So once again, see the results here. Got a button in the middle of our screen. Press it. We get to our scene. Perfect. All right. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and let's get into the arena and figure out how we got it done. So you see a number of different things opened up on the uh, little center bar there with the GUI strip, the script. I have a number of collections. I have a GUI that is our our button. So you'll see I have a button there under the nodes part. Simple, you right click and you get that box. So I had the box and I just re I just changed the ID to button rather than box. And then I created that texture in GIMP and it's a simple uh, simple simple pixel art PNG. You just gotta change it into a tile source that way it's able to be picked up by the editor and you went in there and then you just add that into the button so we got our main scene that's going to be their transition scene and then we have our game over scene so our collection scenes in default of course are called collections so we got our button there already set up because we have the GUI set up in there you'll see in the outline portion of the editor you'll see where it has that geo for of course game object so you see the button there nothing crazy nothing fancy just a little button that I created really quickly in GIMP but you see that we have our GUI set up in our scene so anything that we do update in the GUI asset you'll see the updated in the collection so basically what we're doing is the game over scene is going to be the first thing that we see and then we're going to transition into our main scene. So my triple five collection is what is, would be called the loader collection. But I like to call it triple five just for simplicity's sake. This script here, you'll actually find a link in the description for where I got it from. But essentially, you follow the top line, you just follow that script and it allows you to load the current loaded proxy or collection that uh, that you want to have loaded then it allows you to show which one is going to be loaded first and then on that on message section basically is showing where what's what proxy is going to be loaded with which label as you can see we have that message.post that's going to be used to actually open up our game over proxy now once we do get into starting the game or hitting the build on the editor bam you'll see that we have our game over scene with the button in the middle and then once we press that button you'll see that button test completed level or our main level open up so like we saw at the beginning of the video so the button there you press it bam cut to the scene and then I have a little print message in the console just showing that the button has been pressed just in case something does crazy happen. It's always good to have console messages printed out. So you always want to keep that in mind, but you can take those out whenever you want. But yeah, that's how you do the little button scene into a transition. Uh, I'll leave a link into the code or I'll put the code in the in the description. So with that, there's nothing else that I wanted to say. So with that, it's game over.